get out of here. Good morning everyone, welcome back to the vlog. I'm back in the city and I've just about two days before I leave for Europe but uh, we're gonna drop off the Defender now, pick up the A12 and go to Hazard Boy so that we can check on the 458 GT3 and then hopefully we can get an update on the 991 GT2 RS. I'm sure you guys are wondering just like me what is happening to the car. We just had some parts arrive recently and I don't know what else we're lacking. We had to order so many small things and so many big things for the car just to get it repaired. So I just want to do a major update on what's happening with the 991 GT2 RS and then what's happening also with the 458 GT3. We had to change the fluids on the 458 GT3 transmission because I was feeling like it was a little lackluster when you step on the gas. The engagement was very firm and like puts your head back into the seat so I knew already that it felt like a lack of fluid so it's a good thing we got it checked because according to Mac we had to add almost three liters worth of fluid from what they removed from the car so that is a lot that's a lot for uh, an older car and obviously because the car has never had a gearbox fluid changed and it's yeah it's actually not good especially since we track the car also we might have really burnt the transmission fluid and the differential fluid so gonna do a major update on the GT2 though that's the main plan for today and I also forgot we have to drop off the Defender so that we can get a service the car has already hit a one-year mark just being parked so it's only got 3915 kilometers but it needs to be serviced the oil needs to be changed we haven't changed it since we've broken the car in but such a fun car I don't know why I'm trying to sell this car I think I just need to make space for other projects but we do have the gold Range Rover that arrived in the farm and yep I didn't bring it down because I wanted to service this car first also the car was coding today which meant we wouldn't have anything to drive today and I had to go to Pace Prehab because I had to get my neck fixed also because I hate sitting down for long flights and you know when you're sitting down you're inactive and immobile and that basically creates your muscles to you know get tight and stuff and I hate that so I wanted to make sure that I'm in tip-top shape before we travel because it's a long flight we're gonna be stopping over Frankfurt real quick so that we can check on a few cars and then make our way down to Ibiza it's gonna be an interesting trip because we're gonna make some work with farming and then uh, we're gonna also mix some family time with my half-sisters With this car, we always have to shut down the exhaust valve. If not, it's gonna be super noisy. That's quiet already. And Joey's covering her ears. So from what I know, the 991 GT2 RS is not parked at Hazard Boy. It's parked with their painter, which means I don't know if we're gonna be able to see the car unless we can drive the 812 to check it out if it's close by and uh, get an update. If not, hopefully we can talk to Edward and figure out what is happening with that car and when projectedly that we're going to be able to try to fix it. We're still waiting for the rear bumper from Darwin Pro Aero and uh, the new exhaust also from Klein. So I had to order a new exhaust system, new turbos for from Gintani, new rear bumper from Darwin Pro, and then some underpinnings from Porsche which we sent to Hazard Boy last week. Oh, oh, oh.
do the downshifts. So we brought some uh, oxygen sensors. Last time we serviced the 458, we couldn't do the oxygen sensor. So we're going to do that now. They left the rear diffuser off so that they can do it because once the rear diffuser is on, it's very hard to get to. This will be done soon, but it's coding tomorrow, so which means we can't get it yet. We're going to be dropping this off basically, or sorry, picking this up when the Defender gets dropped off. So hopefully my driver can do that within the week and then swap cars. So off the bat, they had to do the transmission fluid and then we're going to do also the power steering fluid and then we're going to check the clutch life because when I was bringing it on to BRC and doing a few donuts in it, I felt like the engagement was kind of weird and it might be just the lack of fluid. There you go, no major update with the GT2. They're basically looking at all the parts and they're gonna mock it up and see what else is missing. And we're going to start emailing suppliers this afternoon and try to follow up where the other missing parts are. I had to order a new full exhaust system because we basically screwed up the exhaust system. I had to order new turbos which Alex from Gintani supplied us but he was saying he might have sent us his own 991.2 turbos or sorry 992 turbos so we need to take a photo and send it to Edward and then the rear bumper as I said Darwin Pro and try to figure out what else is missing to complete the car but from now we're just going to head to the car park storage and drop off the 812 so that we can swap it with another car to keep in the condo so that during our time away when my driver has to do this cold starts for the unit it's not super noisy and this this is really noisy to keep cold starting in the basement so we're going to swap cars Looks like we're gonna grab the 69 Camaro because this was fixed last time by Classic Speed and we haven't driven it since. So we've got to feel if we got the power back and uh, these two cars have someone looking at them so don't want to take them. A nice thing with these classic cars even if we don't battery tender them and we've been away for like almost two weeks. Starts right up. up our battery tender nice thing with Ferrari is yep there it's a magnetic contact so you don't need to open anything the battery tender just plugs there we're gonna get our driver to clean all the cars here because it's filthy because the 997 GT3 is running a tad hot, it's not super hot, not like before. Yeah. Um, we're just adding another fan and another then fan and the Noah's ready for test drive so I'll come back this afternoon to test drive the car and then Archangel's aircon. Well, for testing now. Then why, why will test drive it? Why? Well, that's the thing, about At why idle, the aircon is fine. Yeah. But when you're moving, it's hot. I, yeah. I don't understand it. And I brought it home at night time, so it was supposed to be colder, but I actually had the window open. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now if, let's get ready for Noah's test drive and then we'll yes. parking. This afternoon, we will bring it out finally. And then if all is good, I can get Chena to pick the car up and bring it to the dyno. Yeah. Oh, finally. <laughs> How long? How long has this been? Noah has been like a year. What? More. More. <laughs> Targa. Targa parts. Targa parts. What's happening to the Targa? Room! Where are the Targa parts? <laughs> Next shipment? Next shipment. Okay. Finally. Finally. <laughs> okay, so we're here in Garage 2233. We just got uh, caught up with Alfredo on what's happening and we need to test drive this car this afternoon. Because it's inside now, we're not going to be able to test drive it, but they will bring it out after lunch. And then RWB Ava, we're adding a radiator fan. I have to redo the Sikaflex after. Finally, the aircon is working and everything's working. So, wow, we're gonna finally be able to test drive this car after so long. It's coding tomorrow, which means we should do the test drive this afternoon. 
Okay, we're gonna take a quick lunch break and then circle back and come and pick up the RWB Noah. Last time we drove this car, it didn't have power, but now it's got all the power back because we actually fixed the fueling. This would be such a great marketing car because it's such a fun car to drive. I love driving this car and I think anyone who drives this car will think like, hey, if muscle cars drive like this, I think you'd want one too. Back on the road, just did an inventory for the shop.angimeeting.com page and we're gonna upload some new bags. So we're gonna upload some new items to the shop.angimeeting.com page doing inventory I do a lot of the inventory myself and we're basically stocking up the page with new items we did a photo shoot with the cars and uh, now I got a test drive RWB Noah when I test drove him during the photo shoot it was uh, doing so well then Chino came back to do some stuff to it let's get out of here so we haven't driven this car in ages and I'm excited to drive it okay guys it didn't work so before I arrived they were actually testing the car checking the voltage already and because we converted to an electric air conditioner we had to change the alternator to 120 amp because the electric AC at idle picks up about 100 no sorry it's like 80 amps of electricity and because it picks up 80 amps of electricity, if your alternator is not high current, you're basically going to flatten your battery within seconds. So, they tested it, the first one broke, they changed the resistor, the next one broke again, and now we can't test drive. So, that's that. Let's do a quick update on RWB AVA. So this is the side of the radiator which we're going to put a fan so that we can help cool the car down even more. We only have one radiator here and we have the center radiator also but the center radiator is passive and it basically links up to the third radiator so extra cooling fan here here we go nice spell fan gonna make a ducting for it i'm so sad i really was looking forward to driving this car That was a bummer, so anticlimactic. Anyway, I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace.